Now to another transportation issue. Some people parking in a lot close to the Texas A&M campus are experiencing towing troubles. There are towing signs, but are they legal? And a special report, News 3's Clay Falls investigates what you need to know before you are towed. Parking in the wrong place and getting towed is enough to make just about anyone upset. It can be expensive and time consuming, but what are your rights if you think you've been towed illegally? An investigation we started more than two years ago shows one company isn't playing by the rules. Our towing tail begins here in the big parking lot off College Avenue and University Drive near McDonald's. Day after day, you see this, cars being towed. Rick and Marley Young almost had an unhappy meal earlier this month, so they called us. When we came out, we were talking, and all of a sudden Rick says, why is the truck in the air? They thought it was okay to park here, and we're not the only ones. During that conversation, we ended up with three wreckers pulled around us, so yes. they actually had a team of them out there was going to pull everybody out quickly and be gone. Yes. This woman didn't want to speak on camera, but her car was towed from the same lot. She told us she got it back after paying $200 and, like others, thought it was okay to park there. Turns out, it is. We asked the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation, which regulates the towing industry, to look into it. It doesn't say specifically who may park in the parking facility. If it is for an apartment complex, it needs to say tenant parking or tenant and visitor parking. Todd Forrester with TDLR showed us what a correct sign should look like. The biggest difference is a legal sign like this one is specific about who can park there. These old and faded signs in the same shopping center also don't provide legal notification, something we first reported on in September 2013. Not a sign that, that means anything for our agency. The company, A1 Towing and Recovery, was also using a spotter to notify them when someone leaves the lot. Todd Forrester says that's perfectly legal. They are allowed to enforce the parking facility rules. Something you might not know, state law requires tow truck companies to release your car for free if you walk up and they're in the process of securing your car and it's not ready for transport. Since the Young's car was ready to go, it would have been a $75 drop fee, but the tow truck driver released it for free after Rick spoke with the stack apartments manager. After our meeting with state regulators, we had some questions for the spotter we've seen out there day after day and weeks before. Good morning, guys. We're with KBTX. We'd like to talk to y'all about the towing going on no, in this parking lot. Get away from me. Get, get away from me. Get away from me. Get away can you, from can me. Can you talk to us, please? Nope. We then went to A1's headquarters. These are the signs that we have. The manager didn't want his face on camera, but he did show us some of the signs and claims TDLR told him they're legal. So we told him about what officials from Austin told us. He added they're only towing people who they catch on camera leaving the shopping center to go to campus, but that's not what happened in Rick and Marla's case, and they just want the signs to be clear. But without signage there at all, they are, I really do feel like they're preying on everybody. We also reached out to the owner of the stack who told us they want the signs to be legal. He added they are not receiving any money for the cars A1 tows. Local attorney John Quinn says it's a balancing act for businesses. They aggressively enforce the parking situation. I, I understand the need to do that, but there seems to be some common sense. After his towing headache, Rick Young offered this advice. Uh, until they get signage up, it's open season. Now it's up to A1 or the stack to make sure the signs are up to state standards. Both parties are on the hook if a tow is found to have taken place illegally. Something else interesting is even after we showed the signs to TDLR, they say they can only open up a case once a complaint is filed. In the News Center, Clay Falls, News 3. McDonald's management says they have asked A1 to stop towing their customers. If you think you have been illegally towed, you should contact the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation in Austin to file a complaint as well as your local justice of the peace to open up a case.